Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Swaz here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 class tutorial. Today's video I'm going to be discussing the Anchor class in Horde and Escape. Uh, the class description states that the Anchor is a pistol specialist uh, who uses an invincible barrier to outsmart the enemy. Uh, the Anchor's ultimate ability is the barrier, which deploys an invulnerable shield that moves with the character. Um, the ultimate's really useful at keeping enemies at bay and preventing them from infiltrating your base or team. The passive ability states that anyone who fires through your barrier deals 50% extra damage and deals 30% extra pistol damage. This is a much better passive for the anchor than the previous one in older operations, which used to be uh, dealing, uh, taking damage recharged your ultimate, um, as it gives you and your teammates more incentive to utilize the barrier more often. In escape mode, the anchor class, which originally was max class pre-operation 5, was one of the essential high buster classes you always wanted to bring in your escape run. Uh, his bolt dog bleed, paired with his the venom and health cards, um, made the anchor very handy to bring in escape. In horde, the anchor is still a solid sport class as well, since they have the ability to provide stim and healing to the team, via using the barrier ultimate um, allowing the team to stay alive and maintain combat so with all that said let's move on to the skill cards starting off with barrier feedback each kill while the barrier is active adds an extra three seconds of ultimate duration this is a great skill card in both horde and escape to extend the duration of the ultimate if you can get a good chain of kills going the barrier ultimate can last pretty much an entire horde wave which is pretty awesome in the higher difficulties i think it's useful to pair this card with barrier battery and lethal barrier so you can get the most advantage out of your barrier ultimate. Moving on a bullet chain, each headshot kill gives 50% extra damage for 15 seconds up to 200%. This is an awesome skill card to run to maximize the anchor's overall DPS for a period of time. Once the skill card is level 6, it takes 4 headshot kills to get the max damage output of 200% for 15 seconds. The way this card works is the first headshot will give you 50% extra damage, then the next will give you 100, then 150, then 200 for 15 second intervals. Thus, it may be handy to have a long shot or precision weapon on hand to ensure that you get those headshot kills efficiently. Of course, bolt hawk headshots work as well. Um, I think it's a great way to keep yourself safe while getting rid of a crowd of enemies in Horde or Escape. Certainly a card that you have to work for to get great use out of it, but it's worth it damage-wise, I think. Moving on to Adrenaline Junkie, damage with all weapons increased by 80% when in the Venom, Cloud, or Ash. This is a card strictly for escape that increases the anchor's damage output in the Venom. If you're doing a Master Escape Hive and need to rely on staying with the Venom throughout the game to survive, I think this is a great skill card to bring. The skill card makes the anchor super strong with enemies like the Long Shot since it can basically one or two shot uh, kill all sorts of enemies like Drones, Sires, and even Zions, especially through the shield. Um, a great card to bring in your escape run, especially if you have teammates playing classes that rely on being in the Venom to be more effective like the Blade Master and the Tactician. Harness Energy, every barrier hit gives 6 HP stim to the entire team. If under 100% health, gain 6 HP instead. This is probably one of the Anchor's most valuable cards for both Horde and Escape since it provides this team stim and healing for any hits the barrier takes. The greatest thing about this skill card is that your teammates and yourself can receive stim and healing from any range no matter where you are on the map, which is awesome. Um, if you deploy the barrier ultimate in front of an ambush of drones and multi science, you can basically absorb all of those hits and have the team heal and gain loads of stim for every hit you take. Uh, this is a skill card I always have on when I play this class as it simply helps to keep the team on their feet for the high difficulties. Venom Recharge. Each kill while in the Venom Cloud or Ash reduces barrier cooldown by 35 seconds. This is another skill card that's strictly for escape since it can help you get your barrier back faster, allowing you to utilize it multiple times in escape run if you need to. Since the Anchor class already has a super fast ult charge of 150 seconds or 2.5 minutes, this is typically not a skill card in my escape setup. Since if you deal enough damage with the bolt hawk or any weapon, you're going to get it back quickly enough anyway. Um, however, if you are running a hive with longer recharge mutator, which there are five hives um, with that mutator, the descent, the mines, the trap, the corruption, and the onslaught, this can help bring back the anchor's ultimate quicker. So, good card for those situations. Barrier battery, barrier duration is increased by 60%. This skill card keeps the barrier ultimate up for longer, allowing the anchor and other classes shooting through the barrier uh, to stay safe and briefly obtain the 50% damage boost from the anchor's passive. In Horde, the barrier duration increases from 20 seconds to 32 seconds. 
in escape it goes from from 15 seconds to 24 seconds so it's a pretty significant um, boost right there pairing the skill card with a barrier boost skill card and harness energy skill card is super useful to the rest of the team as well for example a tactician or demolitions on boss waves and horde can shoot through the barrier to eliminate enemies even faster in your horde or escape match great card for sure Alrighty, moving on to dodge damage from sniping or precision rifles reduced by 32 percent this card can be useful in certain situations especially in horde escape maps with the freezing sniper mutator uh, like ice queen for example is one of them pairing this card with crazy top allows the anchor to survive being frozen from a single sniper shot on masters so it's really handy in those types of situations the 32 percent damage resistance cards in general aren't as great as standalone cards especially on master difficulty so i think it's been your best interest to pair with other health or resistance cards to maximize your class's survivability in your face dealing headshot damage to an enemy forces it to attack you for seven seconds this is another situational card i like to run sometimes in this game as it makes enemies like science wardens or groups of drones focus on the anchor for a brief period of time taking the heat off the other two teammates in escape in horror this card isn't as useful since the enemies are already more aggressive now anyway since they added that mutator the solid beginner card to use but i think this class has more superior cards to offer moving on a lethal barrier any enemy touching the barrier will take 130 percent increased damage this is a fun skill card to use to make the barrier more effective and versatile i like to pair this skill card with a barrier feedback and barrier boost skill card and stand in an area where the barrier can block enemies from getting past and just allow smaller enemies like Jude these leeches and some drones to kill themselves on the barrier um it's a lot of fun seeing the little enemies die from touching the barrier as you can get extra ultimate duration off of the barrier feedback card which is great uh one drawback of this barrier ultimate is that you can be melee through it and once that happens you do go down and once you go down the ultimate ends so just be cautious with that Venom resistance, all damage taken is reduced by 32% in the Venom Cloud or Ash. Of course, this is a card strictly for escape, um, since there's no Venom in Horde. This is a great card to run to keep the Anchor alive longer when in the Venom. The greatest thing about this skill card is that the Anchor gets damage resistance from all sources. Ballistic damage, explosive damage, melee damage, um, general resistance overall, um, even in a thick Venom Cloud or the Ash that precedes it. So, really useful for those situations. Pairing this card with Crazy Tough and even dodge and allow the anchor to survive situations in the venom that other classes simply wouldn't survive so if you're playing master escape and are always finding yourself in the venom this is a great skill card to equip barrier boost increase the width of the barrier by 150 percent this skill card is great for both horde and escape as it makes the barrier super effective uh, a wider barrier is so useful since it keeps the anchor alive and makes it easier for teammates to shoot through the barrier not to mention that there's an even wider surface area for enemies to shoot at the barrier um, allowing characters to easily gain stim off of the harness energy skill card in escape the wider barrier is awesome still because you can use it as protection uh, to safely proceed past certain areas of hives like you need to run past a certain area um it's really good for that for all these reasons this is a great skill card which i always have equipped bloody shot shooting an enemy with active pistol bullets causes them to bleed for 80 percent of damage dealt this card is your main dps card for the anchor class uh, the main thing about this card is that you have to get an active with a boltock or any other pistol to obtain bleed damage in escape this card is pretty much mandatory since you spawn with the bolt talk and this card makes you instantly effective as long as ammo is available in horror the bolt talk bleed is certainly handy but the anchor can still be effective with other weapons like the long shot and some of the heavy weapons when paired with the barrier ultimate and cards like bullet chain uh definitely takes some practice nailing the active reload with the bolt talk for sure but it's still a great card to run um in horde or escape moving on a bolt talk bandolier maximum capacity for the bolt talk pistol is increased by 115 percent so this card increases the bolt talk ammo capacity from 36 rounds to 77 rounds this skill card i found more essential in escape as ammo is more scarce there uh for horde i don't typically run this card because once you max the ammo regen perk to 10 you basically won't run out of ammo for your bolt talk which is nice since you don't have to rely on a tactician or ammo boxes crazy tough maximum health increased by 60 percent this is an awesome card to run to increase the anchor's tankiness this was a skill card i used to swear by and escape in the early days of gears 5 um the extra health was really nice so you could take an extra few bullets before going down i like to pair it with venom resistance to maximize the anchor's survivability for horror the extra health is fine but i think the barrier cards are more suitable for that mode so i prefer to run those um, when i play horde 
Heads up, friendly fire damage is reduced by 100%. So in Horde, this card has no use since you cannot take direct damage from your teammates. In Escape, this is an okay beginner card to make sure you don't take any friendly fire damage from your teammates. Nevertheless, I think the Inker has much better skill cards to offer than this one. If you're running a high score run in Horde or a timed run in Escape, you can equip the score boost and have a score boost cards. Um, they can help you get more gears coins, skill cards, and leaderboard times, or whatever reward you may be seeking. And that'll pretty much wrap up the skill cards. Moving on um, next, I'm going to be discussing some of the class builds for the, for the Anchor. Alrighty guys, let's talk about some class builds for the Anchor. Since the Anchor works well um, in both short and long range combat, I have a basic Horde and Escape build I like to use when I play this class. So in Horde, I like to run Bullet Chain, Harness Energy, and Barrier Boost, and uh, also Bloody Shot and Barrier Feedback. Sometimes I like to swap out Bloody Shot with Lethal Barrier, so I can kill smaller enemies with the barrier and extend the ultimate that way with the barrier feedback skill card as well. Or I can swap out Bloody Shot for Barrier Battery to extend the default duration time and focus on a strictly barrier only build. Um, so feel free to experiment with some of these skill card combinations, find the best combo that works for you. As far as Escape is concerned, I like to run with the basic Voltock Bleed and Stim build. So the cards I use for that are Harness Energy, Bloody Shot, Boltock Bandolier, Adrenaline Junkie, and Crazy Tough. Before Harness Energy was a skill card, I used to use Venom Resistance, but now since Harness Energy came out in Operation 5, it's just so good of a card that it trumps Venom Resistance, so that's pretty much what I run instead now. Um, I'll typically swap out, of, of these five, I'll typically swap out Adrenaline Junkie or Crazy Tough, since you um, may not always be in the Venom, um, and you may need... Um, another card instead of extra health uh, depending on the situation each hive has different mutators so you may want to run different cards um, for example i may use bullet chains since it's great in hives with precision weapons like the long shot uh, dodge is a great card for hives with sniper and freezing mutators to provide the anchor with some extra damage resistance uh, the venom recharge skill card is useful in hives with longer recharge um, and or when you're in a situation where you need to use the barrier ultimate uh, multiple times in escape run uh, barrier boost is super useful too if you need to run past a set of enemies um, and maybe the venom is pushing you to the LZ and you need to run past that final room. It's really useful for that to keep you and your teammates safe while you do that. Uh, barrier battery is great too uh, for individual combat to increase your ult duration um, by 60% so you can fend off a group of enemies and stay alive. Uh, venom resistance is also just a good base damage resistance card to run if you're progressing with the venom in the hive of course if you're ahead of the venom you don't and you won't or you won't be in the venom you don't need to, to run that card um barrier feedback is great too if you want to keep the barrier going for a long time granted you're in an area with enough enemies to keep it going um as you can see the anchor has a lot of versatility in both the horde and skate builds so feel free to try some of the card combos and see what works for you so now let's move on to the horde perks Alrighty guys, I'm going to discuss Anchor's perks in Horde. So, class has got damage, ammo regeneration, critical damage, and damage resistance. So typically the first perk I like to level up is ammo regen, uh, which maxes at 100% regen rate, since it continuously resupplies ammo to the Boltok and other weapons like the Longshot and Asher uh, pretty, pretty quickly. At level 10, you're pretty much never going to run out of Boltok ammo, so you can keep the Boltok bleed going pretty well. It also resupplies ammo for your explosives like the Lancer GL and the Boomshot and the Salvo. Um, albeit at a much slower rate, so that's useful as well. Next, I perk up the damage, uh, which maxes at 50%. Uh, this is great for keeping the anchor's DPS high as you progress through the horde ways. Uh, this damage boost applies mainly to ballistic and melee damage, and sometimes even heavy weapon damage too. The damage boost makes the class even more powerful, especially when shooting through the barrier itself. Extra DPS is always a great thing to have for sure. Afterwards, I like perking up critical damage, which maxes a 50% increased damage. This is a great perk to level up to maximize the anchor's damage output even more. The extra headshot and weak point damage come in handy really on later waves in Horde. In boss wave situations, the anchor can deploy their barrier and bleed out a snatcher or matriarch while shooting them in their weak points, uh, like the snatcher's underbelly or the boat or the uh, matriarch's back. The extra damage from the anchor's passive and this perk combined makes the anchor very viable on Astro Horde. 
for sure. And lastly, Electric Perk Off Damage Resistance, which tops off at plus 30% damage resistance. This is great uh, to have to make sure the anchor stays on their feet during their horde run. As the waves go on, the enemies become more lethal, so having a little bit of damage resistance as a cushion can go a long way. I like to think of this perk as a horde alternative to the Venom Resistance card in Escape, so really nice to have. Um, adds to the tankiness of the class, so great perk to perk up for sure. And that is pretty much going to wrap up the Anchor class tutorial, guys. Coming up after this, I'll have some gameplay of Horde and Escape uh, showing this class in action. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.